up with, but it's probably exactly what, what you've suggested. I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, it wrongly creates a dilemmatic situation between two comp uh, competing worthy courses, which is in fact not true. If we apply the principle of urgency consistently, it would have dramatic and counterintuitive consequences. I think that is something what you said, right? So imagine doctors were only allowed to treat those most urgent cases and forget about all the others. Or if you say, well, people who campaign for abused children should stop that immediately because there are children starving, which might be an even bigger problem. So facing on, on the most urgent thing has counterintuitive consequences. This argument is also speciesist, I think, um, as in fact the logic of the argument is only applied when one competing of the competing causes is related to animals. People would never um, make this charge against people, or, uh, against activists who um, are committed to human causes. So if there's somebody working for the, for the welfare of children, would never be accused of not working for the elderly. Right? That would never happen. But if you work for animals, that's a different matter. So only if one of the two um, horns of the dilemma is related to animals, this, is, this becomes an issue, okay? Um, it also overlooks the distinction between positive and negative duties, and in fact, and the fact that supporting animal rights only requires refraining from certain actions, right? People usually are not, um, most people say you have to take animals into consideration, don't want others to become advocates in the sense of activists to go out on the streets. All you need to do is stop doing certain things, like right? stop doing instead of doing them. So that's what, is, what we call um, a negative duty, and usually negative duties are considered to be stronger than positive ones, even though this might be um, a matter of um, controversy. Um, even if animal even if active animal rights advocacy does take up time and energy, so that is when you just don't refrain from eating them, but also become active, there are crucial differences to most other courses that nevertheless justifies working for animal rights, I guess. That is the lack of public awareness, it's a lack of moral consensus, and at least the indirect involvement of large parts of the population. So the awareness is missing here, right? You don't need to tell people Abusing children is wrong. You say, yeah, I know that. Thanks. That's no news, right? Whereas if it comes to animals, some people, to some people that is still news. There's no consensus that we can say, yeah, it's, it's so horrible. We, we should stop this and we should condemn this um, straight away. And moreover, not all people are involved directly or indirectly in, in many of the other uh, problems or social issues, as is the case with animal rights. Right. Any last words?